When needing to look up data in Excel, many professionals instinctively turn to a formula that utilizes Excel's VLOOKUP function. In other cases, multiple IF statements are often nested inside a single formula to comprise the solution du jour. However, in both of these situations, and in many others, you may want to consider using Excel's CHOOSE function as a very simple and easy to implement option. At its most fundamental level, you can use the choose function to find the nth item in a listing of data based on something you specify known as the index number variable. To illustrate a simple example of the choose function, consider the current formula shown on the screen. Now in this first example, when I change the index number to 3, the choose function will return the value of cherries simply because cherries is the third item in the list. As you can see, cherries is returned. Of course, if I change the index number to, say, 5, for example, then the choose function returns the value of oranges, once again, because oranges is the fifth item in the list. Note that when you're working with choose, you can have up to 254 alternatives from which choose can pick. And each of these alternatives can be represented either by a direct entry in the choose formula or by cell references. In this example, see how we've modified the formula ever so slightly to include references to the values that choose would return. So once again, in this case, since our index number is a value of 3, choose returns the third item from the list, in this case cell E3, and of course that happens to represent cherries. Let's take a look at a little bit more business-oriented example of choose. Suppose you were creating a spreadsheet to calculate the amount of depreciation expense for each of the fixed assets in use in your organization. The formula currently highlighted on screen provides an example of how you could use a choose function to accomplish that goal. Notice in this case that the index num, that is a value of 3, is going to pull back the third item from the list of depreciation rates, in this case 19.2%. Now of course, if the value sitting in cell D5 is, for example, 1,000, then the total amount of depreciation expense that would be calculated would be $192, that is 1,000 times 19.2%. Like most other Excel functions, where choose really takes on powers when you combine it with other functions. Extending the previous example, in this case we've modified our choose formula so that it includes a couple of year functions, or specifically year C2 minus year C5. Now, of course, the year C2 reference in the formula looks and extracts only the year out of the date field in cell C2. Likewise, the year C5 calculation extracts only the date out of cell C5. In other words, in this example, we're subtracting 2014 from 2017, letting us know that the appropriate depreciation year in this case would be the third year and therefore we should choose the third item from the following list. The list, of course, consisting of the depreciation rates for five-year maker's property. Because of the presence of the year functions calculating the difference between the acquisition date and the period ending date, we now have the ability of copying this formula down the range and our choose function automatically calculating the depreciation for each of these three assets, even though they were all acquired in different years. Of course, as a standalone function, choose provides an excellent alternative in many cases to be lookup, multiple if statements, and many other Excel functions. However, choose really shines when you use it in tandem with other Excel functions to automate lookup tasks based on calculations. And remember, based on the index num value in your choose functions, your formulas can return one of up to 254 alternative selections. Best of luck as you use the choose function. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thanks for taking time to watch this video tip. For more information on the training courses we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.